As I told Fable before we started, no, we're pl not playing Dustborn unless people pay us to. That's the rule. And I don't mean the people who developed the game. I mean people that actually give us money to play it. Not, uh... Because I ain't playing that unless you give me something. But yeah, we're actually going to check out this video. Star Sector. Are you ready, Fable? Sure. Also, if for some reason the freaking people that paid me, uh, that made the game actually do pay me, you're going to have to pay me a lot of money because I will not be nice about it. No. Even if you pay I'm me for a game paid. like that, especially me, I will give it the most scrutiny because if you're paying me to review something, that means I have to try my hardest to look at every detail. Anyway. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. I always Star wonder how Seth does open world some of these crazy strategy edits. game about oh. selling heroin and illegally Magic. harvested kidneys on the black market. Maybe Fable, we need your kidneys. Oh, why? You know why. Money off misery, disruption, and political. Is it because I got rid of immortality because a nice lady gave me a hug? Oh my god. Anyway. Pushing trade convoys in deep space just to watch oh. a planet descend into chaos. Oh, I've been wow. playing this game on and off for years now. It's amazing, yet I don't hear many people talk about it. Star Sector is a massive project done entirely by four people in its head. Wow! Uh, it's, it's just, this looks like a massive game, and when I hear it's done by, like, three or four people, I always, like, roll over. I'm like, what? I wish I could that, be that creative. Oh, Mac, can you flashbang furries? You uh, would do that just normally. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, I would. Oh, yes, God. I would. Anyway. Updates for about nine years now. Each one getting nine closer years. to the dream God goal damn. of simulating a living, breathing galaxy. Story. Okay, nobody gives a shit, so oh. I'm gonna be quick. Right, so in Star Sector, humanity figured out faster than light travel. Okay. They colonized thousands of worlds spanning hundreds of galaxies using the relays from Mass Effect, which were the only practical way of crossing galaxies. Sounds they about right. The only practical way until suddenly, nobody knows exactly why. All the gate systems went dead. We could oh, that's, uh, well, that means everyone's stranded. No longer reach the rest of humanity. This event is referred to as the Collapse and marks okay. the end of the prosperous Domain Era. In an isolated galaxy, 206 cycles after the Collapse, our story takes place. Common okay. humanity has been replaced with ambition, desperation, <laughs> and conflict. Our future- Sounds just like normal humanity. Nothing that different, honestly. Yeah. ...is bleak, and we don't know what tomorrow might hold for us. Welcome to Star Sector. Basically, everything's a piece of shit. We're in the galactic version of oh. the Dark Ages, but it's super fun. Nobody remembers how to make anything anymore, mainly oh. because of DRM and copyright laws. I'm what? not kidding, that is the actual in-game reason. We can't reliably make new ships or machinery because all the corporations put copy protection on their design chips. That's fucking stupid. That's why you jailbreak things. Anyway, in the chaos that followed, everybody broke off into their own respective factions and keep dick-waving each other. <laughs> but ultimately, nobody can consolidate enough power to wipe out or unify the competition. Sounds However, about right. they didn't account for one thing. You, thrown into the space sandbox. <laughs> Wait, you... Vape Smoker 4420 was the name. Oh my god, Seth. Why do you do the things that you do? I actually do question, why does he do the things that he do? Well, it's maybe just because he really likes oh. video games. Begin is nothing but a pilot with a small fleet. Insignificant in the scale of things, but given time, practice, and some high-level maneuvers, you could be the one person to unite the sector. Or I feel like, reduce the, it to the I feel like this is the type of game like I do with Bannerlords where I'm gonna get sucked in and somehow become the emperor of all things by the end of it. Own age, every faction is unique in their motivations, and it generally pays to be nice to them. That is, if they can be reasoned with. In oh. no particular order, these are the hegemony, which represent the combined remains of law and order from the domain era, the Sounds person about right. league, which said fuck taxes and broke off from the hegemony, the Sindrian diktat, a military dictatorship, which also said fuck tax. 
That sounds about right. There's always one, right, Fable? Yeah. Especially in a space place. And broke off from the galaxy. Try Corporation. Which... What the fuck? Also, that makes me think of Try Optimum from uh, System Shock. Represents the R and D business interest of Try Tacdown and Corporation. Oh, so it's literally a corporation state. For... That sounds horrible. I refuse to live there pioneering unregulated ai technology oh the wind was so strong it literally shut my uh door oh that's insane god damn Church. who are subhumans that believe the collapse was god's punishment for molesting the stars and that artificial intelligence is literally electronic satan these are i mean it might be we don't know <laughs> Are considered the moderates. Then there's the Luddic path, a oh. sect of fundamentalist space jihadists that believe the answer to man's technological hubris is rampant terrorism. Everyone Why? hates the Luddic path, and the Luddic path hates everyone. Sounds and about right. Pirates. These are self-explanatory and quite consistent with their ideology. You have stuff I want, so I'm going to kill you, or you don't. I'm going to kill you anyway for yeah. the hell of it. Your relations and interactions with each of these factions will determine the thing just die already you're boring me wow the prior of movers to prevent you from this age appear to be a certain identity hostile Eight of the galaxy anyway gameplay everything's a wreck tensions are pirates high, are always a problem in a big area like this to be made mostly everything in star sector revolves around money or credits these are effectively space bitcoins and are universally Why? accepted everywhere most oh. of our time as with real life will be spent figuring out how to make as much money as possible you can see why i love this game it <laughs> runs in my blood your starting fleet is very small Oh my god, Seth. Fable, you're still there? Yeah, I'm just confused. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't really fight That's just normal enemies, for you. But you are fast and burn very little fuel to get around. The only means of interstellar travel in Star Sector is by diving into hyperspace and burning through metric tons of antimatter fuel to reach distant stars. So wow. the size and composition of your fleet is important for fuel economy. You should always watch <laughs> your fuel tanks and pray you never run dry while in the middle of deep space. Because once you go dry, your fleet will be pulled into the nearest ground. Gravity well, which, oh. if you're unlucky, might be a red giant. If you're oh. very unlucky, a black hole. So oh. to start, I recommend it's a situation of Event Horizon. Planetary surveys and exploration contracts. These don't require much investment, just patience and nerves of steel. Sometimes, while exploring deep space, you might hear distress signals. Uh, we ignore those. Just ignore them. Uh -huh. That scares me. Fable, we're going to ignore this. Moving forward. Okay. Contracts are offered to you by intel frequencies from different factions, businesses, and planet administrators. How close you are to the nearest communications relay will decide how quickly you hear about it, since transmissions oh. travel in real time. You should generally be You're very right. quick about grabbing okay. these. Space is busy, and contracts can be withdrawn or taken by somebody else without notice. With no uh, to spare, you can go sense. ahead and actually invest into your own ships. And let me tell you, there's a lot of ships to choose from. With different roles, specifications, and hull sizes. This Ooh. ranges from the smallest frigates to capital-class ships, which take up most of the screen. Oh, god damn. End that is Every ship can be modified, outfitted, and equipped with weapons respective to the type and size of amount. There's a lot of crazy setups. You can Ooh. even make huge modifications to the hull to completely change your ship's behavior. For example, let's say you want your cruiser to act as a makeshift carrier. You can okay. convert their cargo bays to accommodate fighter squad. Instead, oh, cool. some factions also cook up their own modifications. Pirates don't have top-of-the-line equipment, so, so they improvise. For this reason, the pirate's capital-class ship is a stolen cargo frayer ripped apart and stitched back together with as many guns as they could possibly hold. The yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. When pirates find whatever guns they can hold and start using them to basically tear you apart, if they can. 
Uh, against real military forces, you know, doesn't do very well, but against a cargo freighter, yeah, Relic that'll work fine. follows the same philosophy of DIY hull mobs, but what? they don't care about coming back alive. Oh. So they take captured fuel ships, override the safety settings, and turn it into a gigantic battering ram. Oh, that is absolutely that's terrifying horrifying. When you realize it's burning towards you at full speed. The yeah. amount of customization is insane, and you can do this for every single ship in your fleet. Combat takes place automatically with your fleet responding to orders to the best of their ability. They're okay, actually cool. quite good until you get cool. a reckless officer who oh. decides that the best defense is a good offensive ramming maneuver. However, <laughs> you pilot your flagship directly. Oh. It takes some get- uh, Welcome back. Uh, apparently he's talking about the ships. Apparently pirates have cargo freighters that they've stolen since they can't get the best gear and just strapped as many guns to them as possible. That makes sense. Also, to my understanding, real life piracy, that so it kind of goes on in certain places, uh, ships have found, have deployed anti piracy measures, such as putting barbed wire near the, um, near the edges of the ship, or even hydro cannons that they use to, well, blast high pressured water at the pirates. Or they summon, or they just. What I th or. Or they sometimes just hire mercenaries with sniper rifles because, you know, that way they can't get close. Yeah, and that that's, yeah, that was also going to say, or if all else fails, they use guns against the pirates. There's quite literally a scene I saw from a pirate who just like, he's like lifting up his rifle saying, hey, don't come any closer or else. Basically, he's lifting up the whole gun and just then puts the hunting rifle back down and, you know, aims. Right. Anyway. Getting used to. Also, apparently, the Ludic Path uh, finds captured fool ships and rams them into people. You know why they do that. Every ship generates flux whenever they shoot or absorb damage, so you'll have to manage or vent the extra flux into space to avoid overloading your system and leaving okay. yourself open to attack. The same goes for enemies. As if all of this wasn't already too much to take in, every ship type has unique specializations. Ooh. For example, phase class ships can't use shields. Instead, they can do this, which moves oh. the ship safely into an alternative dimension where time flows much faster. Cool. Combine that with my favorite ship in the game, the Star Sector equivalent of Killer Queen, what? and you've got a ship that can turn anything into a bomb while hiding inside another dimension. I don't <laughs> have to explain shit. <laughs> Oh, well, you blew them up, so yeah, you don't have to explain anything. Once you figure it out, it's simultaneously the hardest and most satisfying component of the game. Luckily, your capital is not at risk. All planetary stations offer combat simulations to test your design. Cool. However, you'll need a lot more money to get to that point, so you'll need to work with the game's economic system. Yes, this game has a fully simulated real-time economy. Every colony produces, uh, demands, and consumes different resources, and needs a constant stream of trade traffic to stay functional. The resources needed depend on the industry. For example, mining. Mining is very depressing, so miners consume a lot of heroin to numb the pain of being a miner. A yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Mining isn't fun for anyone involved. Mining colonies output stagnates uh. if the smuggled narcotics cannot meet demand uh. each time you enter a mine. <laughs> well, what? Oh, my family's being dumb. My mom's just like, hey, can you order us pizza? I'm like, sure. She's like, all right, I need to find my coupon. It's probably in my, my car. I'll call you when I find it in the car. Oh, like, my okay. God. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's her heart for you. Marketplace in the game, you can pull up the entire market data, see consumers, producers, market shares, and relative prices across the sector. But making a profit isn't that easy. The open market is subject okay. to a massive trade tariff Oof. of 30%, which can quickly cut into your margins. So we don't trade on the open market, we the trade on the black market. market. Smuggling shit planet to planet completely okay. sidesteps paying taxes and lets you deal in yeah. highly illegal Sounds contraband right. like combat. Combat mechs, AI cores, harvested. Why are combat mechs banned? They're so cool. 
organs and every drug you can think of. However, the life organs. of a smuggler isn't yeah. that easy. Smuggle too oh, yeah. much, and your suspicion level increases, which means patrol fleets are more likely to do random stop searches. Sometimes they find nothing. Sometimes they find all of your contraband, destroy it, and hurt your reputation. I still remember the moment I was amazed by this game. I was about to be stop searched by yeah, a random Yeah, right patrol, now we're basically so being Han Solo hey, Fable, we're being a smuggler. Oh no, we're stealing stuff from the civilians. No, that that's not what smugglers do. Okay, fine. They smuggle stuff away from the civilians. Oh my god. All of my drugs out into space. So, I got <laughs> stop searched. They found All right, let's restart this. Is easy. Smuggle too much and your suspicion level increases, which okay. means patrol fleets are more likely to do random stop searches. Sometimes mm. they find nothing. Sometimes they find all of your contraband, destroy it and hurt your reputation. Oh, I damn. still remember the moment I was amazed by this game. I was about to be stop searched by a random patrol, so I thought, "Hey, let's just eject all of my drugs out into space." Okay. So, I got stop searched. They found nothing, as expected. Then, the patrol officer said, Hey, you're all clean. And by the way, we scanned some cargo pods floating around nearby. And you know what? They're filled with illegal shit, but it's not yours, right? So, we'll just confiscate these and destroy them. This God damn. Of everything. So, to smuggle... That a is... God damn, that is, uh... That's impressive. They knew exactly what they're... What players are going to go for there. Let me teach you the tricks of a trade, ah. which conveniently are the same tools you'll use for navigating space. Number one, in civilized space, everyone has to have their transponder on. This is your fleet identification. It's mm -hmm. illegal to go without it, but it makes it very obvious when you're doing shady business. The detection range of your fleet depends on your surroundings. A nearby asteroid field is the perfect place to hide. Once inside, we kill our transponder and okay. go dark. Dark. Going dark means running engines on minimal power, which reduces your heat signature and makes you very hard to detect. Doing cool. this, we quietly approach planets and do business anonymously, so the authorities can't trace it back to us. Number two, if you get jumped by patrols or spotted, hit the emergency burn and outrun them. If they're too close, there's a chance they'll try and fire off an interdiction, which oh. temporarily fries your burn drives. If this happens, you're screwed. But we've got another trick up our sleeves. Okay. Number Free transverse jumping, the most essential skill you can learn as a fleet commander, which lets you jump right into hyperspace without using a jump point. It's cool. highly illegal, it takes a while to charge, but it lets you dab on patrols before they can reach you. With all nice. of these tools, you should be able to make fat I like the, cash. I like how the band, like, jazzy music is playing, like we're basically in Prohibition era. Now, of course, regular smuggling is mm. fine and dandy, but the big profits are taken from trade contracts, as uh. they often and pay several times the market value, provided <laughs> nice. you can deliver on time. Or just hang around the local bar. At the end of the day, it turns out the best vehicle for Oh my god, that is a scene from Cowboy this Bebop. is alcohol. This game is <laughs> constant management, planning, and calculation. Sometimes things don't go as planned or get thrown off by factors outside your control. But Two, these can one, also be exploited for- What'd you say? I just said three, two, one, let's jam. Three, two, one, let's see. Anyway for your own gain. Let's say a system has been targeted by pirates. Smuggling is rampant. Trade convoys are going missing. This is oh. terrible. However, it's also terribly profitable for you. Ah. The more desperate a system gets, the cheaper they'll sell their exports, and the higher they'll pay for imports to stabilize the market. Makes you sense. could even go one step further. Why not take advantage of a trade surplus, buy off the excess, and smuggle them back to the pirates? Pirates have terrible trade routes, and will <laughs> gladly pay good money for marines, mechs, and narcotics. War and conflict is just business after all. In it's just game, business, Fable, after all. doesn't pay. Opportunistic pragmatism does. When your business relations sours or ceases to be profitable, offer to take the bounty contract for that same group of... Oh, he's... Oh, that's really smart. 
pirates blast their station into orbit and receive even more money and praise from the faction that posted the contract. You'll come back a celebrated hero, and lower ranking officials will generally stay out of your way. You're a smuggler, you're doing illegal shit, but you're also helping us out, so we'll turn a blind eye for now. You can All also right. do the same for the Luddock Path. Who knew what? that arming radical space terrorists could be so profitable? Oh my this god. Game is amazing. And with the latest <laughs> update, you can go even further. That sounds like something Seth would do. Yes, yes, it does. Fervor. With so much wealth and power, why not start exploring the far sectors of space? It's mostly filled with dead rocks and all sorts of natural and unnatural cosmic horrors like neutron stars, black Ooh. holes, and even yeah. worse, the re The what? So, yeah, don't go into deep space. What is that? Oh! Is that like a super but ship? But somewhere in all that chaos, you might get lucky. You might find a planet that's actually good. Not oh. too much unlike Earth. So, you run a survey, send an expedition, and hey, what do you know? It is a damn good Ooh. planet. So, why not colonize it? Start we can your colonize in this game? Oh my god, he named, the, he named the planet Jerusalem. Oh my god, the holy city. Yes. Action. Invest how, back into the colony. Dare you, Attract sir. more people and grow the pop. I, I wanna, I wanna create a game like this one day. If I get as a big enough VTuber, I wanna create something like this because it looks fun. I wanna create something like this, but in like a fantasy setting because I think it would be a fun idea, honestly. And hey, if I if, I, if I become big enough, I can literally just fund a, make a, st or not really make a studio, but get a bunch of people together and then pay them to do it. Population. If I was a rich man, I would do that. Build heavy batteries, orbital battle stations, and patrols to secure your domain. Expand. Cool. Expand aggressively. Oh. Announce that your station is now an open port. Profit from your own black market. Start an wow. organ harvesting operation. Ooh. Take so much of the illegally harvested organ market share that other factions get jealous and try what? to fuck you over with red tape, bureaucracy, and trade dis- what is that? Expedition? Oh, they're all Russians trying to... to... prevent you from getting ahead. Subvert their plans by bribing their commanders. Become oh. an industrial powerhouse. Get targeted by pirates for being too prosperous. Get targeted by the space jihad for being too industrial. Get targeted by the hegemony because they realize why you're so successful. Uh. Because your colony isn't run by humans. No, all this time your colony has been run by an alpha core. An what? artificial intelligence that overshadows the decision-making abilities of any any human in star sector using an ai is completely illegal using okay. an alpha level ai is extremely fucking illegal but oh my god so an ai is running his space station and running his entire colony for him dear god oh boy. as long as you keep bribing their military, they can't do anything. Eventually, decide that having an AI isn't worth the trouble. Try and pull it out. Okay. But you can't, because it's missing. What? Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Is that... Is that from a space odyssey? What's the uh -huh. I've never actually seen the movie. You know what the problem is just as well as I do. Realize that the AI already anticipated this. Get blackmailed by your own AI, who threatens to tell every faction in the sector that you've been using AI technology if you try and disconnect. I'm sorry, Chair. Oh, wait, he literally says, I'm sorry, Chairman. I'm afraid I can't do that. He literally says the same line. <laughs> Him. Do it anyway. Plunge your empire into total war. Right? Oh, so the AI blackmailed him and he didn't care and got rid of the AI. Eat the other factions and steal their copyright protected blueprints. Oh. Watch them get obliterated by their own ship designs. Cripple their military. Propose a ceasefire. Receive wait, 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 no what reply. Was that? Plunge your empire into total war. Raid the other factions and steal their copyright protected. Okay, okay I wish the mech battles were actually real because I love the design to some of these. Let me empire see. Into I Total back. War. Raid the other factions and steal their. That looks so cool. Uh, no, wait, that's a lander ship thing. I didn't see it for a second. Sorry, everyone, but that still looks cool. I just thought this was ahead of a mech, and yeah, dope.
copyright protected blueprints. Watch them get what obliterated by their own ship designs. Oh Triple my god. Their military. Propose a ceasefire. Receive. Okay. I need to go back. Harry, propose a ceasefire. Author's note. Factions can't actually do this yet. They'll fight to the death. Okay. Huh. So basically, he's using their own ships against them and they can do Receive. nothing about it. No reply. Order a saturation bombardment on every core world. Oh Condemn my god. Millions to their death. He's exterminating. Commission every AI core and throw them into the sun and consider what you've done. Then, put one final bullet in the chamber. Hold the barrel against your temple and shoot. Star Sector. It's a lot of fun. Surely, Seth, there's nothing more to say. Well, that was dark in a lot of ways. <laughs> everything wrong this game yeah, also yeah, has an active modding scene which adds oh. dozens of new ships weapons and factions into the mix there's cool. even mods which merge them all together letting new factions trade and interact with the rest after finishing the base game mods can keep you entertained with an entirely new game altogether sometimes nice. the developers even incorporate mods into the main oh code that's great that good oh yeah this game also works on mac and linux this huh. is probably one of the best products i've ever bought and it only cost me 50 15 bucks. Really? Then you use some old ass website wow. from the 2000s to get your CD key and download link, but hey, it works. I can't really complain about something I've played for several hundred hours, nor something. Yeah, that you can't really complain about a game unless you're like doing it for review and the game is just long. You can't really complain about a game you've done for several hundred hours because you've been sucked into it. It's why I can't complain about Banner Lords 2, even though I know the problems with it. Because I play it so much. Getting updates yearly. My only criticism is that chasing enemies or getting into a fight can take a long time if you're flying the larger ships. But again, this is something I fixed with a single mod. In an ah. industry where you're piled on constantly with mediocrity, garbage, yeah. and bloated design, this is so yeah. You're not wrong. Something put out by a few guys that puts triple A studios to shame. I Jerk give it a out. 10 out of 10. I'm completely biased and I don't care. Star Sector is a beautiful game and I thoroughly recommend it. What the it. hell kind go of ship is that? And if you're not sure, go try it. Here's my actual CD key. There's wow. downloads below. You can smack it in there. Enjoy. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchant's Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all true Really wonderful. Oh, Have a good one. All right. What? What favor? Uh, I was look I was looking at some of the views on my videos that I don't I don't really pay attention to the stuff on YouTube, but most of the Dark Souls stuff is almost going to 2K views, and I'm like, all right, listen, y'all need to stop. No, they need to go hard. Everyone, go follow video. Fable. His link is in the description. Make him and tell him he needs to play more. He needs to do more reactions with it. He needs to do more of all stuff. Roll the credits. And now we're just looking at Cowboy Bebop, pretty much. Okay, now that's in a... That, that last red ship was really cool looking to me. Ooh. The music is also pretty nice as well. I don't know if it's in-game music, so I'm going to be a bit careful here. Oh, a giant laser beam in the middle of your... I can work with that. I love it when they have that. Just like in Gundam, there's a few ships like that. Oh, that's a... That's a fighter launch. I am loving some of these ship designs. And yes, I am comparing them to, like, mecha game stuff, but I don't care. I... I gel with that. Alright. Which is like, Fable's like, alright. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream tonight, but yeah, this looks super cool. I might get this game one day. Oh, oh and there's more Cowboy Bebop. I need to rewatch that show. Because goddamn, does it still look good. Also, why did I keep this in... Why didn't I put this in full screen? What is wrong with me? I know there's people gonna be screaming at me in the comments. Why didn't you put it on full screen on here? Because I'm an idiot. And I completely forgot to. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I know I'm an idiot. 
I'm gonna have to wear the dunce cap now for a bit. Judging, silently judging you, silently judging you, loudly judging you, loudly judging you. <laughs> what happened, man? Uh, you know how I usually, for like a video, I'll pull it on full screen when I'm using my like intermission stuff. Or using uh like this. Uh, I forgot to do that. So now it looks even smaller. There's probably got to be people who have already skipped out on this part of the video. I'm probably still going to say something. See you later, Space Cowboy. And we'll see you guys later if you like what we're doing here. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you later.